where you're going, mate. Have you just been outside? Um, hold your horses, mister. I'm asking you a question. What's going on? He's just been outside. Well, I didn't see him go. Well, he must have done it while our backs were turned. You've not been to see your dad? I want to go to my room. Um, you're not going anywhere until you tell us where you've just been. I'm off to my room. What's up with him? Has he had his pills? Yeah. And what's wrong with him? Are they still hurting? No, I always rub myself like this. Of course they're still hurting. I saw some dot leaves over there. I read once that they're good for stings. Why did we have to come on this stupid holiday? We should be in Blackpool or Spain where there's a chemist on every corner. At least I could slap some cream on and that'd be it. Hey, try these. Are you sure they're safe? They're only leaves. Well, nettles are only leaves. They're fine. Look. Well, I suppose it's worth a go. There's no slugs that are out on them, is there? Any better? Give them chance! Well, we can't stay round here all day. Let's get back, shall we? Come on, then. You go first. I don't want to fall down a foxhole and break my leg as well. Hang on. Which way was it? All sorted for another night of chef's tantrums. Strong-minded, like most perfectionists. Hmm. You know, my mum was a good cook. But I don't remember her shouting and being rude to people while she did it. Did she do it for six hours at a stretch every night? She worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week, I know that. Washing, cooking, ironing, mending, cleaning, <laughs> all right, all shopping, all right, all right. and never one obscenity. And that's not possible. Your memory must be playing tricks. <laughs> Should you be driving? <laughs> Probably not. So how long we got you for? Uh, a few weeks, I'd imagine. But, uh, you know, once I've made my decision, mind you, you know what solicitors are like. Could be months, eh? Yeah, be fair, they've got to find a way of milking these situations, haven't they? Oh, yeah. We're in the wrong business, Nick. That's right. See ya. Oh, my God. Jason. Oh, Jason, can you hear me? Yeah, I need um, an ambulance, please, and the please. Not easy, is it, without matches? You see why primitive man worship fire? Well, why can't we just use a match? That kind of talk's not going to get you very far if you wash up on a desert island. Yeah, but we've not, have we? Give Chesney a go. You've got a bit more spark about it, a bit more spark, <laughs> you get it? Oh, it's cool. <laughs> That's it. Stick between the palms. And rub, lad, rub, rub. That's it. Unusual name, Chesney. Were your mum and dad fans of Chesney Allen? Eh? Don't tell me you've never heard of Flanagan and Allen. Uh, can't say I have, no. His name for Chesney York. Who? Sinead. You're not framing much better than the other lad, are you? No, 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 no. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. No, no. Uh, get out of the way. Get off. Get off. Let's try a different tack, shall we? Bit of dry tinder for a start. Yeah. A couple of little twigs. Tiny twigs on top there. That's it. Let's see what I can do with this flint, eh? A flint? Why didn't you give us that? Yeah, and we didn't have any tinder. Well, we haven't got all day, unless you want to eat raw vegetables. Right, watch and learn. A little warm up first. Get a go in. That's it. Let's try it away. That's got it. Hey, an A presto oh, fire. Brilliant. Don't stand there gawping. Go and get some more twigs. Oh dear, oh dear. I'll teach you the art of foraging later. 
King of Flames my backside. What's wrong with my little hopey, eh? I hope you're not sickening for something. Craig, watch out! Not that you hadn't seen it or anything. Yeah, yeah, I'd seen it. No exam results yet. She's still got no signal. You wouldn't think she was Dougie's daughter. Who? Caitlin, as she called. Oh, yeah, her. Seems like a nice girl. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Faint heart never won fair lady. What? It's an old saying. Think about it. <laughs> Eileen? Eileen! Are you in? It's Jason and something's happened to him. What's going on? I, um, I found Jason in the ginnel. I think he's been attacked. What? I phoned an ambulance and they're on the way. Attacked? How bad is he? I think you better come and look. The police are coming as well. When did this happen? I found him two minutes ago. Tony, it's me. Where are you? What? What's happened? You need to get down the back ginnel. Jason's been badly beaten up. Oh, dear God. Just hurry up. Well, I'll be right there. You all right? Jason's been assaulted! He said not to move. Jason, can you hear me? It's your mum. Did you not see who did it? Oh, at least he's breathing. If you can hear me, just just, just speak to me. Did they say how long they'd be? No, they just said they'd be as quick as they could. Oh, Jay. What's happened? Sarah found him. The ambulance is on the way. Is he conscious? It's not answering. Jason. You do a thing like this. How's it doing? Doc leaves my eye. We just turned into a green mush. What a served time with skin lashes after them back bombs. I don't remember coming this way, do you? No, I don't. I hope you've not got us lost. Well, I should be able to work it out. I mean, if the sun's up there, then that must be north. Or is it south? And don't ask me. We need someone like Dougie. Let's try this way. So in Australia, the water goes down the plug all the opposite way to how it does here. Oh, well, that's a big help. Didn't you think to bring a map? I didn't think we'd be going far. Well, we haven't, but we're still lost. I've got a map on here, but it's no good without a signal. It's got street maps, route planners, everything. Well, in case it slipped your mind, we're not in a street. <laughs> what? Nothing. No, go on. It's just, I was mucking about with it last week. I asked it the quickest way to get from LA to Disneyland on foot. Well, will it tell us how to get out of this stupid, wasp-infested wood? No. Then what flaming use is it? <sighs> this is hopeless. Lost by any chance? Perhaps I can help. So, these two guys you saw? Yeah. I was walking by the pub earlier. They come running out the ginnel, nearly knocked me over, shouted, but they ran off. Right. And when were this? Uh, about 20 minutes before Sarah found him. Right. Did you get a good look at them? Yeah, it was all over in seconds. Age, height? 20s, 5 foot 10, 6 foot. Mum! What's happened? I found Jason in the ginnel. He's been beat up. No. I want to go with him. That's fine. I'll see you at the hospital. Can you give me a lift, Tony? Sure. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, of course he will. Did he know who did it? Look. Good for the nerves. Just what she needs. Did you put the balm on? Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, it does seem a bit calmer, actually. Excellent. How did you know to do that? Tricks of the trade. I always carry some around when I'm out here. What trade's that? I'm a monk. A monk? Well, I'm sort of training to be one. We used to keep honeybees in odd things par for the course. A monk in a monastery? I'm just taking time out, hoping to go back before too long. Cool. So what's in this balm, then? Baking powder, vinegar, and a few herbal remedies of my own. Vinegar might pong a bit. Mm, I think I can live with that. I thought when you first said balm, you meant bacon balm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Uh, it might take half an hour before it kicks in properly. Some say it has anti-aging properties. 
Really? Yeah. Don't know if it's true. What made you become a monk? Long story. Basically, I was wasting my life. Then one day I saw the light. Wasting it, how? I got in with a bad lot. Well, go on, then. Yeah. I want to know more now. It was petty crime, mainly. Mm. What? Stealing from shops, like? That kind of thing. Mm, never good. Trouble is, it escalates. Next thing I knew, I was in strange ways, doing time for a gangland shooting. I swore if I ever got out, I'd turn my life around. And I did. I still have to see my probation officer every week. The monastery want that put to bed before they'll have me full time. Can't blame him, I suppose. <laughs> so there's your tea. Uh, I think we need to get going now, Kirky. Yeah, we, we don't want to be late. Just through that clearing then, follow the road, you said. Yeah, but what about your tea? Oh, no, no, I'm fine, thanks. You can share my food if you like. No, no, you're all right. Happy monking then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for the balm. Right, see what we've got here. Oh! Ha! Ah. Do you not taste these blackberries? Well, yeah, they was just a bit sharp, that's all. Bit? That's half my tooth enamel gone. You've picked them too early, lads. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Tell me you didn't taste one of these. Just thought we'd let you decide. These are a death cap. Are they bad for you? Clues in the name, love. Oh, blimey. You obviously didn't study the War of Austrian Succession at school, did you? Emperor Charles VI tucked into a blade of these back in 1740 and dropped dead. That's what kicked it all off. Eight years, thousands killed, all because of a plate of dodgy mushrooms. If you'd have eaten one of these and survived, you'd have had to have a liver transplant. Yeah, all right, we're well, sorry. What did you find? Nettle and wood sorrel. Dougie's making a suit. Yes, I am. I've got some tasty mallow leaves, too. Whack them in a pan. Lovely crisps. No, hang on, I'm gonna need more than soup and crisps. I'm starving. Yeah, me too, I could murder some fish and chips. Oh, there's a stream through those woods. Eh? There might be some trout in it, if you fancy a bit of tickling. <laughs> Can't promise you chips, though. Oh, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Mm. No, it sounds like Jason's dad you ran into. Yeah, the bloke was just beaten up. Look, just stay away for a bit, yeah? I don't know. Use your brain if you've got one. And stop ringing me, all right? Get in. Charming. I don't see what's wrong with meeting at your flat. Did anyone follow you? You're in a state. What's happened? I said, did anyone follow you? No. Not that I know of. Where have you been for the past few hours? At home. Listening to music. I'll send you the playlist if you want. On your own? Oh, you've been with me since 2 o'clock, all right? We've been at my place, chilling. So, what have you really been doing? Unless you know the better. Don't I even get a clue? Here's a clue. One more snide remark and you wish you never opened your mouth. Do you get me? Loud and clear. Have you seen any more of Caitlin? Not to talk to. Well, don't forget what I said, cos we're only here for a few more days. At last! I thought we'd never get back. Where have you been? I've been nearly stung to death by Asian hornets. A wasp. Then we got waylaid by a killer on the run, disguised as a monk. What? Oh, completely barking. It was a bit spooky. We were lucky to get away alive. It's my results. Really? I've just got a signal. I've had five missed calls. Tim's been trying to reach me all day. Well, never mind that. Have you passed? English language B, literature C, French C, maths A. I got an A in maths. What else? Media studies C, R A. Ah. I got an A in art. Oh, so how many have you got? Ten. I got ten GCSEs. Ah! Oh, well done, mate. I can't believe it. <laughs> hey, have you still got a signal? Yeah. I'll give it here. Well, what are you doing? Ah, I'm ringing that Chinese takeaway in the village. They can send us out a banquet. It's not every day you get confirmation. Your son's a genius. Where are you? Back at the flat? Yeah, I'll be uh, another couple of hours then. No, uh, 
There's no news on Jason. Your real everyone's in shock. Okay. I'll give you a room later. Mind if I join you? Feel free. <laughs> Don't. Lost any more cash? Grand. This is not too grand. It'd be more if you get my hands on it. So, presumably, there comes a point where you just run out of cash. Pretty much there. Mm. The sooner I get out of this town, the better. Won't make this go away, you know. No. But it'll help if I go somewhere where nobody knows me. Nobody be pointing the finger at me all the time. I really wish you wouldn't go. You've said that before. <laughs> I'm going to keep on saying it. Out here. Oh, I'm just trying to get a break from Dougie. You know, going on and on and on and on. What have you got there? Oh, I didn't fancy nettle and wood sorrel soup, so did a bit of foraging on my own. Pork pie, where'd you get these? A really shop just down the road. It's only 20 minute walk away. I thought we were miles from anywhere. It's not as wild as what Dougie's been making out. Mm. Lager? Mm, just for you. I just got a can of pot. Oh, and cheese and pickle sarnies. Oh, this is amazing. To finish off, a cupcake each. I thought you'd stormed off in a huff. Why'd you think that? Because well, I was being snide about mine Fuhrer. Dougie. Oh, I didn't mind him at the first, but talk about Mr. Know It All. Mm. I came for a romantic holiday with you, not to be bored stiff by it. Well, at least we know that a mushroom started the war of the Austrian... what's it? <laughs> oh, yeah, cos that'll come in handy. Mm. <laughs> this is nice. Just us all alone. Yeah. They say you remember holidays more when you have a few problems. Mm. A trip without snags is like a meal without salt. Who said that? Oh, I don't know. I just read it somewhere. Well, we've had that all right. I really love you, Ches. I love you too. Come here. Mm. Now, pork pie or sandwich first? Uh, pork pie. Mm. No brainer. Who's ready, everyone? Come and get it. <laughs> Shouldn't you be cracking the whip in the bistro or something? A couple of hours won't make any difference. Give Mum something to complain about. She's always telling me the place would fall apart without her. I <laughs> uh, wish I could joke like that about the factory. But turning a profit doesn't seem so important Side two dead bodies in the cemetery, does it? You're way too hard on yourself. No, I'm not. I can't believe I won't see you again. Oh, come on, Nick. I can send each other Christmas cards. But you come through worse. No, nothing like this. I'm a pariah. The factory's on the brink, I'm broke, so the sooner I'm off, the better. Honestly. Is there any news? Eileen and Tony are still at the hospital, and Jason's still unconscious. And the police? Well, no one's been arrested as far as I know. Oh, come on, it's obvious who's done it, isn't it? I mean, Jason marks Callum's card in the morning, then a few hours later he gets seven bells knocked out of him. This is exactly what he does when somebody crosses him. Because of me? No, it's because of him. Well, what are we going to do? I doubt we'll be able to prove it. He'll have got somebody else to do it. He never gets his own hands dirty. Yeah, and they'll be too scared of grassing, won't they? Well, maybe we should just tell Eileen and Tony, or the police, for that matter. It'll just be like the gun all over again. He'll just talk his way out of it. Then come after us. Yeah, I wish I could get it through to you. You're not a monster you think you are. All right. But that's really enough about me for one night, OK? Anyway, what about you and Erica, hmm? What have you two got planned together? You're getting on, aren't you? She's an amazing woman. Mm. So there you go, then. Honestly, Nick, I'm really pleased for you. I still think what might have happened if she'd not come back. Oh, no, no point dwelling on what might have happened, Nicholas. Remember, regrets are pointless, you tell me that all the time. 
Yeah, I mean, they are, if you can do nothing about them. I am sure you and her have got an amazing future ahead of you, OK? Speaking of which, won't you be wondering where you are? Well, I'm... There's only one thing wrong with her again. One thing? Only one thing? Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> I think I'd settle with one thing, Nicholas. So what is it, this one thing? She's not you. And we're back in Coronation Street twice tomorrow at 7.30 and 8.30 for your Friday night. Next, Tony Blackburn and Eternal singer Kelly Bryan go head-to-head in brand new Flock Stars before Julia Bradbury continues her incredible tour around the country in the wonder of Britain tonight at nine.